This is Susha Island in the San Juan Islands in Washington State. And what you're seeing there is the entrance to Shallow Bay, which has earned its name over the years more than once by basically marooning various boats at low tide, not to mention, uh, not to mention damage from rocks. It's a very narrow entrance. It's far shallower on both sides than it appears here. This is at high tide, as you can see, basically. And um, so as we approach it, you notice how quickly it starts uh, in the forward beam, sees how shallow it's getting rapidly. In fact, so correctly that at 100 foot depth, it hasn't even registered yet on the downward scan. Now downward scan is seeing it too, but it's just because the depth increased or decreased so rapidly. So I'm approaching now the entrance to Shallow Bay, and it's getting shallow real quick. These islands were formed uh, by glaciers, scoured out, so you get these incredibly depth changes. Probably a, a volcanic island would be very similar to this, uh, if you were seeing it like in the South Pacific or something. Pretty soon here it'll stabilize at its very shallow depth though of about, uh, well, I don't know, 25 feet. So we're just about now in the entrance and we're into the bay. But there's still stuff to see out there. You notice these uh, kind of shock waves, the, the, the um, vertical blue-green lines. A little bit of fish action there at about 75 feet. but it's going to get shallower, both at the entrance, which we're almost through, and in the bay itself. Now that thing at 150 feet, that's actually a boat, believe it or not. But now, as I'm turning, I'm starting to get, uh, well, rocks. <laughs> you know, so I'm kind of demoing how nasty it can get here. And I'm turning again away from those rocks and more into the uh, open part of the bay now, shallow bay. But you see it's shallow, 16, 17 feet. And as I kind of cruise around the bay here, look at this here. Now, just past 75 feet, that looks like real trouble. And at 14 feet, it probably would be. But look what it actually turns out to be. It's a fish pod. The, uh, now we're in the, into the bay, into the, just the clear spot, so you can see what that looks like as we turn. You can see the color shift there off to the right on the screen as we turn. But we're in the bay now. We're getting ready to anchor. So you might be curious to know what it looks like to exit the bay on horizontal scan. Right now I'm basically aimed at, if you're going out, the left side of this very narrow channel. And those are rocks. I don't quite know how to describe them. They look almost like volcanic rock when the tide's fully out. On the right is the other side of the rocks that basically define this channel. So for demo purposes, I'm getting closer to the rocks on the left than I normally would because the water's clear. I can see what's uh, coming up here just uh, visually. But at night, of course, I wouldn't be able to. So now I'm kind of turning and maneuvering and going through the channel. And you see now the rock on the left is gone because I've passed it. And the term rock really doesn't do this justice. These are slabs of rock, huge things because they were scoured out. And on the right, you see basically what's left of the right slab that defines this channel known as uh, the channel into shallow bay on Susha Island. Now what's interesting too is look, look on the left display and you'll notice that the depth will just suddenly drop off. That's because of the nature of these islands. And this illustrates how useful this uh, interface approach can be because whether on vertical scan or 400 scan, you know, being a sailboater, I generally set it at about a 300 foot range as far as a warning, but a power boater might set 600, 700, 800, 900 feet. And um, when things like these sudden islands come up, particularly in the fog or something like that, or at dark. Um, obviously, you'll see the island on radar, but you're only seeing the part of the island that's above the water. <laughs> and because of the way things get shallow here so quickly, that might not do you a lot of good. 
you might want to have some warning you know well in advance now it's dropped off so deep it's it's dropped off the on the 100 foot setting